Hello my skincare squad. So today we're going to test the vacuum blackhead removal therapy. So they said it's a pore cleanser, microdermabrasion head, and instant results. So obviously since this is instant results, I want to see what actually, you know, is going on in my nose because I personally have never had any blackhead issues. Also on top of that, I've never tried to even bother to take out any blackheads because I've just never seen any that were super visible. But the thing is like everyone has black heads like even if they're not visible they are there so I'm very curious to see if this is actually going to work and remove some of my blackheads we're gonna have to get like up close and personal I'm probably gonna wash my face as well so apparently this device has five different heads to treat a variety of skin conditions an extra strong vacuum suction feature <laughs> this is gonna freak me out so there's a correlation between this bacterial spread and a pore becoming visible to the eye I don't know what that means. <laughs> Ideal for acne, which spreads like wildfire. This leads to inflammation and blemishes. It just gives you the picture. So this is like a normal pore and this is a blackhead pore. So it says for best results, it is best used after you wash your face while your skin is still warm. So then the pores are more like softer, I guess. So for this reason, it's a good idea to perform your skincare routine when taking your bath as heat from hot water will enlarge your pores. I'll just do it after I wash my face. For best results, use the appliance one to two times a week as part of your skincare routine. Aha! Oh my god, this looks heavy duty. Oh my gosh, like the different vacuum heads. Okay, let's just see if this is pre-charged. Do you hear that? Oh my god! So apparently, there's three speeds. This is like a smaller version of this one. Oh my god, and then I guess this is for your whole face. And then there's this one that has like this gray kind of, almost feels like sandpaper. It's just saying that blackheads shouldn't be like squeezed with fingertips. It can damage your skin and cause further inflammation. And then just make sure when you're using this, don't have any cuts anywhere, excessive body hair, sunburn, any infections, etc. So yeah, you get your different sizes. And then this one, it indicates that it's a microcrystal line Dead skin exfoliation tip. So if you want to exfoliate, then that is what that is for. And then it says two to three minutes for each treatment. One to two treatments a week is recommended. It seems pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna wash my face. Put hot water specifically around my nose for like at least a minute or two under hot water. And then I will wait to use this. I'm just gonna clean off the excess that I've already touched my nose with. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just washed my face. We're just gonna go straight into it because I want to make sure my skin is fresh. By the end of this, we're just gonna see the residue that comes off. This sucks. Oh, it's kind of painful. Look at that. Hold up. Oh, I, I kind of see. Hold up. Okay, so this is like an up close shot. Like you can't really see any blackheads too badly. <laughs> this is so nasty. Okay, let's just do this one more time. I definitely see dirt. Kinda feel like a bit on the edges. I can't zoom in anymore, but I, like you definitely see the gunk. Like it looks like oil residue and like, I don't see any blackheads though. I think I'm gonna try the bigger one and just wanna try my pores and just see what comes out. Okay, so this is like the big one for all over your face. I think it goes like this. This looks so weird. I was gonna do this on my face and that was on the lowest setting. Like look how red my skin is. That is intense, like I wouldn't even go higher than the first set. I just read the manual on how to actually use the device and they said as long as you move in one area and you don't hold the suction on the skin for more than like, I don't know, five seconds, you should be good. This is the first suction. Okay, I'm gonna try on this poor area. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, that is intense. <laughs> Nothing came off. Oh my gosh. That scared me. I was like, is it gonna not come off? This sucks your skin so crazy. It makes your skin so red. I don't 
No, to be completely honest with you, if I would use that on my face or even like on my nose. I'm like, we'll see if that even goes away. It might not go away for a while. My first reaction to this is definitely um, scary. <laughs> I don't know, because like my blackheads aren't bad at all. It's just my acne. And the thing is, is like, I don't want to be using this on acne to aggravate it anymore. I could try like the smaller one again, just on a specific area on my skin instead of the big one, because this one clearly doesn't seem seem to do much. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to this one and just try one more time on just like a smaller section and just see what happens. Like any other gun comes off. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, I don't see anything on my face come off, mainly my nose. You'd have to go under a microscope or something to see it. But yeah, there's definitely like oil and dirt looks like if you do the nose. I don't know if it really would work anywhere else because I just would be so fearful for my skin to actually be rough because this is definitely very rough on the skin. So I wouldn't want to like, yeah, break any capillaries or do anything that like I would regret in the long term. Yeah, this it was really red. So yeah, I definitely see dirt though when I use the nose function so we can try this exfoliating one this is supposed to exfoliate apparently I'm gonna use this on my jawline just because I feel like this would be extra intense I think I'm just gonna use it like here and see what happens this is what the tip looks like huh that didn't suck I thought this would have the same amount of suction, but this actually does not have much suction compared to the other ones. And then this doesn't really exfoliate too much. So I feel like this one wouldn't really be too necessary. I think it's just like the basic one I've tried to begin with. That one, it was the only one I actually saw residue and like oil and dirt. Definitely the smaller one. So I assume like these two smaller ones might be the effective one. So I'd probably omit the bigger one and then the exfoliating one, to be honest. Let's just see this tiny one. I'm just gonna do the size of the nose and see what happens. Okay. Ho 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 ho. Huh. I don't see anything really on here. I think the most effective one was the circular one. I don't know if the oval one has like an effect. I don't know if the shape of it has really an effect on how the suction will do because this one also tends not to suck as much. So I think overall, the smaller circular ones, those are the ones that actually would pull out dirt the most effectively because this was the only one I see dirt on. Okay, well that was a very interesting experience <laughs> trying this blackhead remover. My face is still really red. Just the tip of my nose too, I'm like, and then right here I'm like, Dang, like, hopefully that doesn't bruise or something because, uh, yeah, if you have sensitive skin, this would not be for you. I don't have any prominent blackheads, so I'm kind of like the wrong person to ask. Again, meanwhile, I did see dirt and debris like oil come up. I didn't see any blackheads. So, yeah, and then on my face, I didn't see anything come up. And also, it's just like, it's so rough on the skin. Maybe if you have super bad blackheads, this might be for you. My full-on take on this is would I recommend it to you all and does it work? I was sent this by Project E Beauty. I was never really fond of blackhead removing utensils, even like pore strips, stuff like that, because I've never had, again, that like naturally on my nose that I need to get rid of. I guess it works in a sense is if you are excessively oily, then maybe I could see it work around your nose. On your face, I feel like this would be way too harsh. It just literally like pulls at your skin. <laughs> it's very, very intense. Like. I don't even think I'm gonna go even past the first level because the first level is so strong. Like as you see, my skin is so inflamed. Yeah, if you're struggling with like insanely bad blackheads, then maybe I would try this. But other than that, if you have like normal skin like I do, if you have sensitive or dry skin, then I feel like this, you really don't need it. So yeah, I hope this was helpful in any way. And you know, just to inform you too, that like if you have normal skin like me up close and you can't really see like your blackheads too much, then this probably is not going to 
like surface any blackheads. I think if you want to get rid of blackheads, they probably already should be just sitting on top of your skin, like noticeable for this to actually pull it out because this again did not pull out any blackheads. I think the majority of skin types won't find this beneficial at all, including myself being one of them because again, I don't have bad blackheads. So yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Yeah, that was my result. I was kind of disappointed, but I was kind of like hoping to see all this gunk and goo <laughs> come out like the blackheads shed a tear. I was I was pretty sad about that, but okay, so it has been a few hours later and as you can see, it looks like I have dirt on my face or something. Guess again, all the redness is gone obviously because it's been like three hours. I got bruises because I was in the middle of editing this video but then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, go to the bathroom. And like, it's been a few hours because I've been doing other editing and they gave me bruises. What the heck? I cannot promote a product that will damage your skin. This is like not acceptable. And I even followed the directions. I double checked as well. So I mean, um, yeah, I don't know if this is a go. They are bruises. They're not makeup. Don't worry. These are real bruises. <laughs> now it's red, but yeah. Now you know. If you buy this product, do it at your own risk. <laughs> you might get bruised. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta be definitely very careful if you were to do this. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Uh, again, subscribe. <laughs> Let's end it on a positive note here. Hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you are watching this. And yeah, it's always uh, fun to test out products like this so then you will be informed whether or not it is worth your money because I don't want you guys to be buying products that again, you know, once you get them, you're disappointed. So yeah, I want to make sure that I make that clear <laughs> in my videos. Um, but yeah, I love you all, my skincare squad. You all make me so happy and I love re reading all your comments. It makes my day. And I will hopefully make some vlogs, hopefully uh, have to do with uh, school and music and DJing and all that kind of stuff. So I think that'd be fun if you are very curious. Uh, comment down below if you want to see that. Like this video if you liked it, of course. And I will see you in the next video. Ow. Peace.